Hello. Um, I wanted to kind of uh, get an idea I had out. I was trying to organize it all, but it was kind of just too much, too complex to organize. So I thought, get on the camera, blast it, see where it goes. Um, so, the four ages, let's talk about the four ages and how it relates to type. I think the four ages relate to the four temperaments, the four modalities, um, and certain functions. So, the four ages start with, we were in a dark age, we need to get started. I think this is the age of NF. I think it's the age of blast. I think it's the age of the visual modality, the attack. So we start in a dark age, and so we have well, the only way to go is up. We have to rise. Um, and so how do you get started? Blast, of course. Now, am I saying this is the age of INFJs or ENFJs? No, I'm just saying it's the age of NF, and it's the age of getting started. Um, and it is going to be the visual age because, in my opinion, what the visuals are doing is they're going, I see an image, a static image, an icon. I will put the icon in the ground. That will be the image that creates the tribe, that creates the nation. And they will go, I have a vision. I have a vision. There are the borders. That There is the tribe across the pond. Either we are going to conquer them or we are going to unite with them. How do you unite, unite with your enemies? You unite with NF. It has to be so vague and so abstract that we can look at it and go, um, all the all the facts, all the reasons we were fighting, those don't matter anymore because we have this NF now. Okay, so the NF is the founding of a nation, of a civilization. Okay, so what happens next? So this relates to the cast of priests, spiritualists, teachers. Now, the next age rising up is the age of, I would call it the age of ST, the age of double masculine, and the age of play. What is war but really play chaos? And war was never uh, traditionally like, it was super chaotic. There, It is not as organized as it is in a video game if you ever play it. It is way more chaotic. It is way more just, we smash our armies together and it's so chaotic. Who can tell what's happening? It's it's not easy to transfer orders in massed warfare. Um, this is the age of ST, double masculine, like I said, play. Um, and the cast, the class of people in charge in this age are nob nobility who are warriors. Now, why I see it as ST, why I see it as double masculine, why I see it as play is doing a bunch of chaos to get shit done and where we have the nf established we have the values that we will unite around established now we're putting that aside and we we are just getting stuff done we are just establishing order because we have to next so that's the rising masculine building age the next age is um called the age of merchants i would call this now, this, this is when we get into the f descending age, it becomes more chaotic because basically there are less constraints on the civilization because it's more free, because order has been established. So the next age, the first descending age, which is in a golden age, I would call this the age of um, the audio, the MF age, the audio modality, the consume age, and the SFH. Now, like I said, the descending age is going to be more fuzzy because you're more free. Because order has been established, you don't have as many physical constraints on you. Why do I think it's SF? It's because what hap what usually happens in a civilization over time is when the warriors are no longer useful, it becomes wealth that becomes more powerful because the warriors aren't required. Sometimes the wealthy people are the descendants of the warriors, the nobles who fought. Um, but sometimes the nobles hold on to their way of doing things and an actual merchant middle class will rise up and become the elite. And I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying this is the ESF, ESFPs like are in charge. I'm saying 
SF and consume. So the consume is taking in for the self, gobbling everything up. And the SF is understanding physical value. What is more merchant than understanding physical value? What is the physical stuff that we need to get to people that people value? And I also think it's the audio age because, like, think about it. I would say religion is kind of iconographic and visual. Like, we put up a cross. But um, the merchant age, if there is a merchant age... It's more about the sound bite. It's more about, does that sound good? Oh, that sounds good to me. Like, you you have a person outside saying, this, this, that, this, like, and, um, you know, it, 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 you can't, it's like a physical object. You can't really show what, like, have it own, oh, show people all the time, but you can tell them, you can spread word of mouth. That's why I call it the audio age. And then the last age, this is the most dark and chaotic age. I would say this is the age of NT and sleep and the double feminine age. Now, this is the age where, why do I call it um, the age uh, of NT? I would say it's because things are falling apart, because the old values, the old NF is degrading like we establish something with some things and we put in some rules to get stuff done well now we've let that slide we no longer can believe in it and so you need the nt to formulate a new logical identity in which a new nf can emerge a new nf ideal but it does need to have a consistent logical principle for the nf to emerge in the first place um the age of sleep I would say it is because society would start navel gazing and start going, who am I, who am I, who am I? We don't know who we are. And the age of double feminine, I would say that it's just the age of double feminine because the power in this age is the most dispersed. Um, um, people aren't like the elites are not willing to act as much. Um, they're not willing to use force to protect people. They let things slide and blow up. Um, that's why the descending age is, I would say, double feminine, but it's also the most free and most open and most accepting age. That's the, that's, that's how it works. So, um, I hope none of this kind of gets on anyone's nerves, but, uh, you know, bring it on. I'll take it. Um, there are some people who are very invested in the ideas that they have and that they were raised in, and I'm willing to take them all on. And come at me, bro.